Here's a quick tutorial on three different methods for masking layers in After Effects. The first method that we're going to be looking at is using track mats. The second is using merge paths. And the third is using the traditional masking function in After Effects. So let's get started. In my scene, I just have a basic rectangle in my composition. I'm going to deselect that and draw a shape on top of it. Now, if you don't have your track mats uh, available in your timeline, you can click on Toggle Switches and Modes and this will reveal our track mats. If I select the bottommost layer and select alpha mat, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to use the layer above, uh, which in this case is our circle, as a mask to reveal the contents of the layer below, in this case, the rectangle. Uh, inversely, I can use alpha, mat in or alpha inverted mat, and this is going to use the layer above to essentially punch out the contents of the layer below. Now this is really great because now I can animate and move these layers independently. If I switch it back to alpha mat inverted, uh, I can scale, uh, use rotation, uh, any sort of the functions that you would, you would normally be animating in After Effects. And another way uh, that you can do this if you don't want to have to create a second layer is using uh, the merge paths. So I'm going to delete this layer uh, and I'm going to go onto my rectangle. With that selected, I'm going to draw a circle. And so now I have an ellipse and a rectangle. I'm going to go down and select Merge Paths and make sure that this is a sibling of our ellipse and rectangle. And so in the Merge Path modes, I can switch this to Intersect. So this is going to create a mask where the two layers intersect. And inversely, if I select Exclude Intersections, it's going to create a mask where the two layers do not intersect. So this can sometimes be a cleaner way of, uh, of doing masking in After Effects if you don't want to create a bunch of extra layers. Uh, you can also uh, you know, animate these independently. Uh, let me go into my transform for my ellipse, and I can scale this up, scale this down, and it's all happening in one single layer. Now the third way, if I delete this circle and get the merge path out of here, is using the traditional masking in After Effects. So with my layer selected, I can go to Layer, Mask, New Mask, and I can double click this and resize it. Um, I can even uh, hold Command and move points independently uh, to cut a little bit of a finer mask if that's what you're looking for. But that's you know essentially three uh, simple methods of masking in After Effects. Um, some are more beneficial in some circumstances than others, uh, but I hope that this was helpful to you. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.